good afternoon dear students i hope all of you did good in examination so today i am here with a new video of numerical solution and mcq questions which are asked in the today's board exam yes without wasting time let us start with a uh, mcqs these are the answers for mcqs first increase with increase in temperature limiting molar conductivity third one at anode lead is converted to lead sulfate fourth one activation energy fifth one v2o5 vanadium pentoxide and chromium trioxide sixth one diamine dichloride of platinum 2 seventh one enantiomer eighth one ortho and paramethyl anisole ninth one c option zymase tenth one b option sp2 to sp3 and eleventh one c option naoh plus calcium oxide soda lime what we can call it as a twelfth one acetylation thirteenth benzene sulfonyl chloride and koh fourteenth c glycogen fifteenth b vitamin b2 fill in the blanks molality collision frequency ionic charge grignard reagent and benzene diazonium chloride these are the answers for the mcq today's exam without wasting time let us move to the problematic part so these are the problems first problem was asked with the mole fraction of benzene 30% by mass in carbon tetrachloride given i am, i hope you may got confused here 30% of benzene in carbon tetrachloride they have given meaning is 30 g of benzene in 70 g of carbon tetrachloride so molecular weight of benzene is 78 molecular weight of carbon tetrachloride is 154 calculate the number of moles of benzene weight divided by molecular weight calculate the number of moles of carbon tetrachloride weight divided by molecular weight so finally we will get mole fraction of benzene is equal to number of moles of benzene divided by number of moles of benzene plus number of moles of carbon tetrachloride so finally if you put all the values you will get 0.461 and you know mole fraction do not have any in it so this is the answer for that question talking about question number 45 this question same question i have explained in my previous video same question was wise dia so weight of solute is given 1 gram weight of solvent is given 50 g and the delta tf uh, diffraction freezing point also given 0.40 kelvin and they asked to calculate mb for given data same question already solved it i told same question came here without changing the values also so mb is equal to kf into wb into 1000 divided by delta tf into wa put all the values you will get 256 g per mole as an answer so i hope all of you got the same answer if you got it please comment below if you not got then also you can say it we can discuss about it question number 46 more concentration of silver plus ion is given concentration of nickel plus 2 ion is given and e not of cell is also given they are asked to calculate e cell ema of the cell so you know the nernst equation put the nernst equation put all the values and simplify it and log 4 value you should know 0.6020 final calculation you will get e cell is equal to 0.914 old so this is the answer for question number 46 talking about 47 so you are given with time in is equal to 10 minutes you can convert into second by multiplying 60 you will get 600 second current is given 1.5 ampere charge q is equal to it formula we know that put the values of current and time you will get 900 coulomb that is a charge now what is the mass of copper deposited at cathode molar mass into charge divided by electron transfer into faraday so faraday is constant so molar mass is 63 charge is 900 already calculated electron transfer copper sulfate is nothing but copper plus 2 means two electrons and f value is given in the question 96487 not 96500 they have given particularly 96487 so substituting all the values you will get mass of copper deposited is equal to 0.2938 g so this is the answer for this question talking about question number 48 k is equal to value is given initial concentration is given final concentration of the reactant is given and they are asked to find out t time so for first order reaction we have the equation t is equal to 2.303 divided by k into log r not by r putting the values of k 1.15 10 power minus 3 and r not and r values log of 5 by 3 will get so log of 5 by 3 value is 0.2219 and substitute all the values and multiply it you will get 
second so if you want approximately 444 second you will get so this is the answer for 48th question okay talking about last question this video 49 rate of reaction quadruples the same question i have already solved in my previous video so whatever i told three exactly without changing the value the same question arises in your examination same questions so i hope you all you did properly see quadruples means k dash is equal to 4k means second constant will be equal to four times of first constant that is a meaning t1 and t2 are given and activation energy formula is given so log k1 k dash divided by k is equal to a divided by 2.303 r 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 putting the values log 4k divided by k a divided by 2.303 into 8.314 so put the val all the values given to you and simplify it you will get ea is equal to 52,863.3 joule per mole if you want to convert into kilojoule divided by 1000 52.86 kilojoule per mole you are going to get the answer so i hope all of you got the same answer please comment below how much you scored in this exam and next video what you want i hope all of you did well thanks for watching thank you